Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. I remember when I was finishing college, I had all sorts of questions about the basic do's and don'ts of finance. That's why we're here today on campus with financial consultant Ross Mack to offer help and guidance on what's on students' minds when it comes to dollars and cents. I'm Justin, I am 21 years old, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't really know how to do finances. I feel like it's good to be transparent about money. We're all looking for jobs, post-grads. People are pretty transparent about what their starting salaries are for people who have jobs lined up. And uh, for people who are still looking, we kind of talk about what salaries we're expecting and things like that. But I see that now having no income, you know, so who knows if I'm, once I'm a millionaire. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome, man. Nice to meet you. And what are you studying? Journalism. Nice. Mm -hmm. There you we go. Be a journalist? Music no, reporter? no. Do do? Honestly, I don't really know. I'm like about to graduate, but we're gonna so. we're gonna figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Improvise. Yeah. What can we help you with today? Okay, so I've never bought a car by myself before. Okay. How do I go about finding affordable car insurance? I don't have my driver's license. <laughs> I am a passenger princess, so I feel like Ross will should, have more yeah. information. In the event you do have a driver's license, like most adults do. Uh, calm down. <laughs> it's like almost buying the right pair of shoes, right? It's like you, you're not just gonna buy the first pair, you actually gotta get an understanding of what fits you. And I think every state is gonna have their own different requirements, but at a minimum, right, every state requires you at minimum to at least have liability insurance. Which means in order to even be on the road, if something was to happen, you have to have some type of liability insurance that's gonna cover the other person, potentially an accident, right? So their medical bills as well as the collision, right? And then another thing to think about is full coverage, right? And that's in the event, you know, you get an accident, you're gonna have your liability and also cover your car and your own medical expenses, etc. I kind of like the question, right? Because when you think about a finance question, it's like, uh, you know, how to make money or this, that, and the third. And I actually like the insurance question. You also want to think about life insurance, maybe, you know, renter's insurance, because it also just talks about what can go wrong. Overall financial planning is preparing for the worst. Living in the now, being thoughtful with your money, but also preparing for the worst. Okay, well, cool. Um, hopefully I don't get into any accidents anytime <laughs> yeah, soon. Yes, so we were not manifesting that for no. you. Yeah, we were just not giving at advice. All. My dream car is an Escalade, a black one, yeah. I, I actually don't know, but it's all it's what all the rich private school moms would drive when they were dropping off their kids for like volleyball practice or something, yeah. Be sure to subscribe to Million Stories. Scrap the car guy. He's kind of cute though.